Yo, 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 what's going on, man? This is your boy, Super Mario. And today we're going to be playing with this new feature in Able to Live 10 called Capture. Uh, probably one of my favorite features in Able to Live 10. And, um, you know what I'm saying, um, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, go over it with the folks that don't have Able to Live 10. You're kind of thinking about it. You've been playing it now. Is it worth the upgrade? This one feature, in my opinion, I believe it is worth the upgrade. It's worth trying out um, and stuff like that. So um, I had an instrument I was going to use, but I'm not going to use that, man. Uh, so what we're going to do is um, use, uh, use this bad boy. Okay. So you see we have Loom 2, uh, which is an air virtual instrument. And uh gonna pull up some of their featured sounds right here. Alright, so let's I like that sound. Alright, so basically as we play on the 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 push, um, you know saying um, what capture does is it kind of like keeps a running memory of your MIDI notes um, in able to live 10 and um, and once you're ready to commit those MIDI notes uh, live or in a MIDI clip it takes all that data and puts it in a MIDI clip uh, that you played now I'm not sure how much data does it do if you're fumbling around for 10 minutes does it record all at 10 minutes I'm not sure it's still brand to me brand new to me but you know playing around with it real quick caught on on it just like that um, so it's 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 real easy it's real intuitive um, all it is is a click of a button now if you see right here you see this little square uh, right here at the top by the record button this little square right here that is the capture live button so um, once you press that capture button your MIDI clip um, will commit to your audio clip on your track and it tells you right here um, in the bottom left corner click here to capture the MIDI notes um, you just played um, so it's a cool little feature so um, let's just play it with some sounds and see what we can uh, well not play with some sounds but let's play around for about a couple of minutes to see what we can get. All right, I'm gonna mute my mic so it don't interrupt any playing. All right, so I played those two notes. Let's see what it happens. All right, so it took what I played and that's all I did was three chord notes. Now, if you hear if I hit play, I'm off beat because I did not play with the metronome. Um, so note to self, when you do use the capture function, make sure you have your metronome on and you hit the play button and you'll be able to play along with the metronome. That way, when you capture whatever you did, everything is in sync. All right, so let's hit play and let's get ready to rock and roll. All right, so uh, we played pretty much a lot. All right, so we hit the stop button on there. And what I'm thinking is um, every time you start, stop, start, stop, I guess you reset the capture button. Um, that's just my hypothetical theory on this capture feature. Uh, but I have to read up a little bit more um, on it or whatnot. But for shits and giggles, uh, just remember hit play make sure your metronome on play with the metronome and you can capture ideas just like this so we're gonna hit that square button okay all right so looking at it right now man uh, you see it captured everything I did in those couple of minutes uh, or however long it was and uh, looked like it only wanted to loop the last 
bit of information. I guess Ableton Live is thinking, okay, man, you played that last little riff, that's probably your best riff. Because normally times if you're playing on the keyboard, you just um, so you gotta find where your best parts were. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take this loop mark, go all the way back to the beginning, and you see all my MIDI information right here. Okay, so we're just gonna start right here on two. Let's look like where we started. I don't like that part right there. Just warming up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of like that right there all right that was pretty cool hey 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 that was okay a little boring I like that last little part um and just you know so we're gonna crop that last little part so let's uh and i was gonna say something so let me just crop that before i start talking all right so i'm gonna put it on 17. the cool thing about this capture is you can play different riffs we can take this one mini note and let's say we wanted to copy this mini note uh up here on the first one and i'm gonna move this one right here so this is the original one right here at the bottom this is the one i copied so if i got 17 um let me go here yeah so i got my this bottom one yeah yeah so the bottom one i got it on the last two bars but at the top i wanted to let's say uh get this little bit right here at 12 and crop it right here at 14. now on the second midi clip that's at the last two bars now if I play the first clip guess where it's gonna go so basically I kind of like build a two bar pattern type of two pattern type of beat and I ain't really hit record yet so if I'm on the push I could just hit the first clip or the first scene uh, uh. And if I want to switch it up, I can switch it up right there. You know what I'm saying? So that's the cool thing about this. You can different color it and say, okay, I know that variation is right here, and this variation is right there at the end, at the beginning. So I can say, uh, rename that um, middle cap. And I can't spell, y'all. So we can do middle cap. Okay, enter, and then we could do last two cap. All right, so now we got it all organized, sweet and neat. Um, so on this clip, we can go ahead and quantize, and we can crop that last cr clip. So I crop, I, I cropped it. Excuse me, and quantize. Ready to lay some drums down. We go to the next one. So let's quantize. All right, and I'm quantizing on the uh, on the push, so you probably can't see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna crop that that 12 between 14, and I'm hitting the button on the push that says crop as well. All right, so with one touch of a button on the push, I crop those two MIDI notes. Now I'm slimmed down. I'm ready to go, bro. Hey, hey, hey! All right, so let's put some drums on top of this. So we're gonna go to our drum rack. We're gonna choose some drums here, man. Ready? So let's play. All 
Alright, so we're gonna drag that kick down. Let's find a snare in the clap. Let's find a hi hat. Alright, so we got a kick, clap, and hi hat. You know, it's some of the basic stuff. Now, you can capture with your drums. So we got that part playing. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and mute my mic because it's going to get real nasty. <laughs> All right, here we go. Alright, so as you see, I had to get in the groove of things. I had to adjust my volume on the loom um, uh, so I could get that feel. You know what I'm saying? Once I got that right volume with my drums, I could get that feel. So if we uh, hit the capture button. Now, as it was on the loom or the synth, uh, you see it, it recorded everything I did. And you can see right here, after the third bar, there's a break. I started back on five. After the eighth bar on nine, there was a break. I started back on ten. And I think ten was the perfect capture. So what we're going to do next is put it right on ten. And what I'm doing is making my adjustments on my push. All right. And then we're going to make that a perfect four bar loop. And everything you see on the screen is uh, controlled from the push. All right, so what we're gonna do is hit play. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh. Now I'm off, of course. So I can quantize on the push, but I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, you know, I'm quantizing everything like that. So I'm gonna take all that information. And of course, quantize. And here we go. That's simple. And I ain't even hit record yet. Have I hit record yet? Uh -uh. Now I'm going to hit record because um, um, with, with push, you can um, um, capture the hi-hats hi -hat, hi um, along with the push. Um, so let's see how this kind of correlate with the drum clip we got right now. I'm gonna let it loop back around before I start. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I'm gonna hit stop, and I didn't hit record. Didn't know no record. Let's hit the capture button and see what happens. All right, so it took my information that I was playing and then I started on the fifth bar when it looped back around and it recorded my hi-hats. So check this out. So this gives you ability to Test out different hi-hats, test out different patterns, get your vibe. But let's say you had that right vibe, but you can't figure it out, or you can't, you know what I'm saying, figure it out to play it on the uh, on the repeat function or whatnot. Well, it's right here. All you had to do is just hit capture. Even when you're sitting there, okay, I'm going to record it. And you still forgot it. Guess what? We ain't hit record yet. <laughs> so what we're going to do is uh, take this five to nine we knew that was our four bar loop and uh we're gonna hit crop on the uh, on the push and we're gonna make sure that we're starting at five on the loop position all right and uh, make sure it's a four bar and uh we're gonna hit crop all right so we crop and it all made it, it kind of like 
automatically cropped itself a little bit but it just zoomed in and uh we're gonna go ahead now this is the tricky thing you can quantize but it's gonna quantize all your notes and a lot of people that start out with able to live does do not know that when you're doing drum programming in the drum rack once you quantize let's say on the push or the push two it's gonna quantize all the MIDI notes in that one clip so you have to go and select what sound with the MIDI notes you want to quantize so I did the hi-hats right so if we go and use our preview tool uh -oh, I want to get rid of it okay Okay, we know that's the kick, clap, and hi hat. All right, so we can turn that off, but I only want a hi hat. Uh, excuse me, quantize the hi hat. So my hi highlight only the hi hat notes because I can hear them. Now, if I would have did this, I'm, I'm I'm about to requantize notes of that I don't want to. So just want to highlight all the hi uh all the hi hi hats. And then uh, right click, quantize settings. Make sure you got all your timing right. Um, what you see on the screen is typically right. Depending on your tempo, you may have to notch it up to 130 seconds. But uh, majority of the time, it's the 116th. Hit OK. You see the MIDI notes move into place. That's it. And we did not even record yet. We didn't even hit the button record yet. How fucking awesome is that? So now, you know what I'm saying? We can basically uh, go to session and start that. Now I can take this clip, move it up, and hit this first scene. Now let's say, uh, I wanted to throw a vocal in there. All right, we're just doing the shits and giggles. I'm not going to use this beat. Maybe, maybe so. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, now I want to record. Um, Cause I don't want to capture that, you know what I'm saying? That's something I could just program in there. So let's put that in there. So I'm gonna mute my mute my mic right quick. All right, so that that sound, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. So let's check that out. Let's edit that up. So you see, it's a recorded delay. Uh, I can make my own delay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten up that one shot. All right, and I'm gonna fade that out. You see right here the fade out. All right, so I need to quantize that. So you see my notes are still highlighted, right? That's a new feature that Able to Live did. You know, it highlights the notes. I like that shit. Because I, sometimes I get confused as fuck <laughs> when it shades a different color. So I like how they outline the notes. That's fucking awesome. So we're going to hit that. Boom. Now we finally recorded. So this is a little short, quick tutorial on the capture. How it kind of works. How it can increase your workflow by 5, 10, 15 minutes. Um, 
you gotta love Ableton Live 10. I know sometimes it's a little bit hard trying to get into it. The GUI it looks kind of rough and it looks foreign, but once you get into it, it's real simple and easy. Um, I love it. My music has elevated since I've been using it, um, and I was the die-hard Reason uh, user, a Propellerhead Reason user, and um, I made the switch about five years ago, and it's it's been I'm um, not five years ago, about four years ago. It's been nothing but good. <laughs> but anyway, man, um, this is your boy Super Mario. Uh, you can check out beats from me at my beat store on beatstars.com and you can go to jcsproductions.beatstars.com and you can also follow me on IG at Super Mario underscore producer. Alright, y'all be easy. Able to live 10, push two game, holla at your boy. Yeah.